think like Ramanujan. I want to talk about Ramanujan in this video because for me, Ramanujan is the greatest. I mean, he is the greatest mathematician in my mind because he came from nothing. Ramanujan was so poor, he had so little that I can, I can tell myself that I understood his situation. I can, I can try to relate, but I've never experienced the level of poverty that a man like Ramanujan had. And to be able to do the amount of mathematics at the level he did with the resources he had it is just incredible. I have a book that he used to teach himself mathematics. And the book is basically just a list of results. It, it, it doesn't even have exercises. It's just like a, a compendium. It's a synopsis of mathematics. It's like a list of, of mathematical results. And there, there's some examples, but it's extremely dense. And he borrowed this book from a friend and he used it to learn mathematics. So how can you become like Ramanujan? How can you think like Ramanujan? Well, Ramanujan had something that many people don't have. He was obsessed with mathematics. I mean, he was completely obsessed. To get results, to do things that are even close to Ramanujan level, you have to be extraordinary in your actions. You know, if, if, you, if you do average things, if you study like everybody else, you're going to get results like everybody else. You might do a little bit better if you have some natural talent, but if you want extraordinary results in anything in life, you have to do extraordinary things. I mean, that, that's just how it works. You can't be extra special if you, if you don't go the extra mile or, or if you happen to have some raw talent. But even then, even with raw talent, which Ramanujan obviously had, right? He, he was a genius. He still worked incredibly hard. And I think that people don't recognize his hard work and his dedication, right? They, they look at the things he produced but they don't realize how obsessed this man was. So I just wanted to make this video to remind you all that if, if you're trying to be really good at something, whether it be math, physics, programming, anything in life, whatever you're trying to do, average actions are going to get you average results, maybe good results too, but if you want to be extraordinary, if you want to, you know, be the top, you have to do things beyond the norm. And, and Ramanujan was completely obsessed with mathematics. Completely obsessed. Completely obsessed. And, you know, people think that, you know, again, they idolize him because they say, oh, he was a genius, you know, he did all these great things. And he did. He did do great things in mathematics. But I, I, I just don't think that enough credit is, is given to his hard work. And the same is true. You know, the same is true for just like, your average math professor at a university who's doing research. I mean, these, these guys, you know, you look at these professors and sure, they might not be, you know, doing the level of work that Ramanujan was. But you look at them and you think, wow, how do they know so much math? They must be really good at math. Yeah, they have some, some natural talent. But you look at a guy like Terence Tao, Right. Terence Tao is considered by many people to be, you know, one of the top mathematicians of the world that's alive today. People consider him to be, you know, one of the best. I mean, it's Terence Tao. The guy's a legend. He's brilliant. He's a genius. But I don't think people realize how hard Terence Tao works, right? I mean, the level of mental discipline that it takes... To even, to even get to that level, I'm not even talking about just doing research, to even get to that level. So most of the people who, who watch this channel 
a lot of them um, are just taking algebra. Some of them are taking calculus. Some of, some are math majors. Some are grad schools. And there's probably some people here who are watching who have PhDs in math or engineering or other fields. And so if, if you've been to graduate school, you can relate, you know, because you, you, you go through your undergraduate in math. You get through advanced calculus. And once you get through that, you feel like you can, you can do anything. And really, once you, once you get through analysis, AKA advanced calculus, you can get a math degree and you, you'll make it. That's like, I think it's the hardest class. And then you get your degree. And then if you go to grad school, well, that, that's a whole different, that's a whole different piece. Grad school is so hard that I can't even, I can't even, I can't even explain to you in words how hard it is. I was talking to someone um, yesterday on the phone about this. She's in grad school. She's working on her PhD. And we were talking about how hard it is, how hard it is to, to take graduate level classes. Like people, people don't understand. Like you can't, you cannot put it into words. Like I cannot, I cannot explain how hard it is. So to go beyond that and do research, at the level of Ramanujan is, is just, it's just completely, I get goosebumps thinking about it. Every time I think about the man, it just seems unreal. It's just, it's incredible. It's incredible what he's done. It's incredible how, how much he did. And, and from his situation, right? We live in a world where we have electricity, right? We have flush toilets. I mean, we have clean water. We have, we have toilet paper, we have things, right? Ramanujan came from nothing and he did amazing things. And that's that level of grit, that level of desire, that level of determination. I admire that more than any raw talent that he had. So when I look at those crazy formulas on Wikipedia, because you can, you can go on Wikipedia, type in Ramanujan, you can see all the insane stuff he came up with. You say, wow, he was a genius. And he was, but the determination, right? The level of effort that it took to get there. And when you see that, it kind of inspires you, you know? Cause you think if this man can do so much coming from so little, you know, why aren't we doing more? <laughs> you know, we, we need to stop being lazy and, and, and think like Ramanujan, be like Ramanujan. So to all of you out there who are looking for some inspiration, Ramanujan. I mean, that is, he was an incredible man. You know, there was a movie uh, about him and I thought it was pretty good. It was a little slow, but I didn't mind because, you know, I'm a fan and he didn't live very long. You know, he didn't have a long life. He had a hard life and yeah, he produced a lot of great mathematics. And it was kind of a random video. I wanted to make it here because I don't know, I was just thinking about Ramanujan and all the work he did and people glamorize him because he did so much great work and they think he's a genius. Yeah, sure, he was a genius, but it, it's about hard work, my friends. I mean, yes, he had natural talent, but he was completely obsessed. I think he did math on a level that we, we, can't, even, we can't even comprehend. He was just so obsessed that even if we tried, I don't know if we could emulate that level of obsession, you know? Um, now I'm thinking about other mathematicians. Erdosh, Paul Erdosh is another one who was really, really prolific and really obsessed also. I mean, that guy, that guy was a monster. But yeah, subscribe, like, share, check out my courses, check out my books. It's all in the description. Key takeaway is if you're looking for inspiration, look at Ramanujan and don't just admire his brilliance, but admire his hard work and admire the hard work of all those people out there who are professional mathematicians and are doing great things. I, I don't think people realize how hard it is. You know, it's not just because these people are smart. It's because they work hard and they have the mind of a lion. It takes grit, my friends. Stay strong.